Hey, Harriet, or almost grandma. Um, happy birthday. Thank you so much for inviting me to your, to your uh, party. The food looks great. And um, I hope you have a great birthday. Have a good time. Go. Harriet, Mazel Tov. You're the best. You're the finest. And you're the kindest. You are incredible, and I wish you another 150 years so we can come in and eat all that wonderful food out here and celebrate your much success with your kids and grandkids, and you're really a role model for all of us uh, with you being active with charities and um, how uh, everybody married in the family and happily married and um, how um, you are with your grandkids. It's really a joy to watch. And uh, you'll be our role model. Hopefully, we get lucky and become that way one day. Happy birthday again. I remember going to Harriet's house in Short Hills with Denicia. We would go home from um, college, and we would go on a Saturday afternoon, and we'd go swimming in her pool, and she'd make us dinner, and we'd have a sleepover. And then I'd go back to college the next day with Denicia. And that was probably... That was probably in 1981, so that was a long time ago. We used to have dinner with her. What was my favorite? Oh, you know what I really, can I tell you my favorite was her cookies. I'm a cookie baker, and my favorite cookie of Harriet's is the, the one that's a round butter cookie, and it, no, I have the raspberry, the raspberry jam in the middle. Those are my favorite. But she made delicious food. She would always make a beautiful meal, and we'd, sometimes we'd sit in the dining room, and we'd have her beautiful china, and sometimes we'd sit in the little kitchen table. I can tell you one other really nice story. When I was about to have my oldest daughter, Christina, who's going to be 21 on Tuesday, I went to see Harriet, and she made lunch for me, and we had open-faced Munster and tomato sandwiches on her little table in the kitchen, and she gave me a very special blanket she made for Christina, who was my first baby, and I thought I had like a lot of time before I was gonna have the baby because she wasn't due, and then she came early. But I'd gone to see Harriet, and I had a special blanket for my new baby. No, she made a she made a white like an ivory white wool blanket that she knit, and then she had little cross stitching on. She did a beautiful job. Bye. Thank you. You're a great interviewer. I hope you keep this up. What's your earliest memory of Aunt You know, I was such a little girl that I don't really remember. But I'll just tell you really quick that I feel like um, Harriet has always treated me like a, a member of the family. And I was so honored when she gave me a copy of her cookbook. And it was my pleasure, honor, um, real joy to be here and celebrate her birthday with her because she's certainly been an important part of happy milestones in my life. And I look forward to many, many more of them with you too. Happy birthday. Yes, it did. <laughs> but you know, I'm going to have to say goodbye now because um, I have to go pick up my littlest girl. Um, her name is Ellie, and she joins her sister, Samantha and Diana. All say very happy birthday to Harriet. Thank you. Bye.